Black to play, what are you going to do? This is going to test your defensive skills and you will need to calculate precisely. And an important part of calculation is the process of elimination. So this is a game between Ju and Jun, the women's world champion, and Ellie Petz from Germany, played in the Women's World Cup. So Ju and Jun has just moved the bishop down to e6, giving check. So what you have to decide is where the king goes. There are four possible squares. In your head, you have to try out each move before you make the move, of course. Guesswork won't do. You have to use the process of elimination. Well, let's have a look at King G7, which to my eyes looks the most plausible move. It's on a dark square, moves up, you know, perhaps has the protection of these pawns. But no, that's a mistake. Hopefully you spotted Queen B7 check and then white picks up the knight in the middle. Okay, if you spotted that, you'll, then you'll realize that king h7 loses in a similar way. Queen b7 check, double attack. Okay, so what about king h8? Perhaps that's safer because there's no check here. White has a very clever move. Queen b2, forcing the king up the board. So if queen queen e5 doesn't work, you can't block because you can see white will take here. So the king comes up and once again we have this check and the double attack. So the most plausible moves, at least the most plausible moves in my eyes, simply lose. So that's when you have to look at what else remains. The only move to check out then is king f8. Now there's no check here, that's good news. And by the way, this is what uh, Pets played. And well, if the queen moves away, then white actually has to be very careful because of knight f2 check. So rook f1. Now this is tricky. So if the king moves up, then there's going to be this check again, and the queen switches back to take the knight. So in playing king f8, you have to see that knight f2 is the correct move. Knight f2 check. It's a curious position. It's a self-pin, but it is checking the king. So king g1. And this still looks perilous for black, but in fact, there is a way out. King e7 steps out of the pin and creates a threat. There's, the threat is knight h3. So, for example, if this bishop moves, knight h3 check, and there's that classic smothered mate. And if rook takes knight, then black can just exchange queens, and, well, that should be a draw. So in the game... Zhu and Jun exchange queens and then just move the bishop back. But, well, with level material and a very stable position for both sides, well, that any danger has passed and the game soon ended in a draw. Let me just give you the final moves. There we are. In fact, they started to repeat the position. So... I think that's an excellent exercise in calculation and absolutely typical using the process of elimination. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see the whole game, then do check out the link to chesspuzzle.net and you can, uh, well, you can, yeah, you can play through the whole game there. Thanks for watching.